This week on Alvarez TV, we are super excited to introduce a brand new series of guitars we call Laureate. Laureate is the highest level we've ever produced in Alvarez. Lots of great detail. Join us, tune in to find out more. Very deep and meaningful. Wasn't it? I was off. I loved it. Strings, could he strings? I heard the whole thing, A Easy. minor. A minor, yeah. A minor, big string, orchestra, stuff. Bit of a departure from sheep shearing. Or daily travel shows. No, daytime TV travel shows. <laughs> that would ah, be different. Ah. Hey guys. Everyone, welcome back. How are you doing? Looking forward to today, mate. I know, me too. We have been waiting for this day for some time and talking about it and not being able to talk about it and kept calling them prototypes. Prototypes for a while. For quite a while. But it has to be said that we've been, we've been sort of drip feeding this a little bit, so people have actually heard these, well, one version of this guitar. Correct. Um, but not the, not the finished articles, which we have here today. So we had some shows with prototypes, and they were like MD60s, MD70 BGs yeah. disguised. Yes. But actually there was something else. Yeah. We have a new series, which is called Laureate. For now it's six models. And these are them, and we're, we're pretty chuffed, aren't we? Are we, we allowed are, to be chuffed with ourselves? Are, yeah, I think so. I think it's a pat <laughs> on the back, I think. Don't yeah. want to say too much, but, but yeah, we, we, we've been loving playing them, and they're, um, they're the best guitars, Alvarez guitars, we've, we've probably ever made. They, they, they feel wonderful, and they sound wonderful. Yeah. They do. They're very articulate. They're very refined. You probably notice the biggest change, which... Took some doing getting over that line from a decision was the bridge. Yeah. But there's a whole premise behind these, and I think that's 
probably important. To... So let's go way back because yeah. <clears throat> a couple of years ago when we were doing some Alveros yeah, and we... you walked in one day with this gorgeous dread yeah. and I said, what is that? And you said to me, I've had this made. Yeah. So I asked them to make a dread mm-hmm. and I spec'd it out and I, and I knew we had some ebony fingerboards and ebony material. Mm-hmm. The fact that it's been there years and years. I said, can you use some of that nice ebony? Can I have a dreadnought, this burst, and could you stick ebony fingerboard and bridge on there? And they said, yeah. And it took months to come through, and usually, you know, we're quite quick. A couple of months later, I said, is that in production? Yeah, 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 it's in production, yeah. Eventually it came through, it took it out of the box, and it's like, what? It was absolutely pristine, like from a finish perspective. I mean, all this stuff sounding pretty good these days, but from a finish, it just looked immediately different. Yeah. And I picked it up and all the edges and the sanding was sharper and, you know, it was crystal clear. The clear coat was absolutely perfect. Mm-hmm. And it just felt different and sounded a little di- tiny, little, little bit different. So I go back and I say, what is this? And, and they said, oh, it's, you know, we just took our time and we went through everything. But, you know, the factory, ma- the factory managers worked on it and they wanted to make me very happy, which is lovely. How do we do this? All the time this guitar took a long time to make and everything is you know when it comes to often the buying price of a guitar it's usually the amount of labor is, is the, the biggest impactor so for the last two years we've worked out how to make these every day at that level and revisit all that work this is it laureate is it it's the, the highest spec instrument line we've done and we've took a really bench made luthier made kind of a because that's approach. the approach, isn't it? Yeah. So everything is, is hand-selected. Yeah. And we've said that before. Sometimes I read some marketing copy and I pick up an instrument and, and it says hand-selected this or quarter on that or this or whatever. And, you know, I think there are some, some less these days, but still some embellishments in, in marketing. And you look at the things, actually, it's not that. On this instrument, everything is, is hand-selected. You know, if you, if you are a luthier and you, or making 12, 20 guitars a year, whatever it might be, you select that material really, really carefully and you mm-hmm. collect it mm-hmm. and you buy bits that you might not use for years or, mm. you know, you, it's like that's your little investment. In, yeah, in, in, like Mr. Yaya we have with all yeah, that exactly. tone wood everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. What, what they do, they love buying wood yeah. and you, you, people, you know, eventually get to know you and wood suppliers and all that sort of stuff and they might ring you up and say, hey, I've got this, are you interested? So hand selected, what it means is you're, you're choosing the best pieces of material you can for for the build and we've really done this with laureate in in quite a deep way so first of all the tops are the best tops that come through our world wherever they come from you know that all of our sitka is north american usually canadian or alaska from alaska and we choose the best ones we choose the most taut quartered silked tops we can find and that's for sound and response. Yeah. And we cut them when, when they're so on the quarter, we can thickness sand them a little thinner. That, that, that's a bit big start. And then the backs and sides, they're all rosewood for now. The backs and sides are again selected. Book matched probably. Book yeah. matched. Yeah. And wonderfully tight, yeah. tight grains, yeah. dark. So that's the first thing is, these, this is the best wood that comes into our world. Then we get a bit obsessive with the hand selection thing and things like the bracing. So, and we encourage you to put mirrors in these things because yes. we're really chuffed and actually we're, we're making an open back one to, to show you. Yeah. So the bracing is FS6, which is in Masterworks as well, and, but it's hand finished. In, in a production approach, the bracing is usually machined and it's designed, we design it by, by chisels, mm-hmm. and then it's machined to that spec. Right. Well, this is the same, but we hand finish it. So the wood looks almost shimmers. Mm-hmm. And then all the bracing is chosen from all the thousands and thousands of braces that come in the factory. We hand select them. And basically, the grain on the braces is straight. It's quarter sawn. So the, right. the sitka for the braces is quarter sawn sitka. It's pencil right. straight, which, you know, we can have that debate. Can you hear that? But people will say it's stronger, transfers, vibration, energy, sound, whatever you want to say. Yeah. It's just one of those little things that you're adding to the build. 
Then we have our maple bridge plate, again from all of the maple, all of the bridge plates that we make. Mm -hmm. They're hand selected for Laureate, so they're super clean. Grain is fantastic. They're just the, the best pieces of wood we can get. Even the side, so on all solid instruments, we use side braces, yeah. supports. Even they're chosen for color to match the backs and sides. So when you look in here, you haven't got things jumping out. There are different shades and all that sort of stuff. And that's what a luthier does. You know, they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're adding those components all the time and it's all, everything's considered. And at this, you know, we're, we're a manufacturer. We're, we're pro, you know, our guitars are production instruments. But what we want to do is, you know, we've explained, we put lots of thinking and processes and redesigning processes to try and make the best we can where we're going to step further mm -hmm. towards that hand build. And then we have... Curving, so yes. curving is is the bit that joins the top, yeah, uh, and, the, and the sides or the back and the sides, and curving actually a curve is a cut with a with, yeah. with a with a usually with a saw, so the curving is a piece of wood, slim wood with lots of curves in it. So it so it can exactly so it's it can flexible. Bend. Yeah. On these instruments, we don't use spruce curving; we use mahogany curving, which is a bit of a, a step up, and even we choose the, the mahogany curving, so you don't see any pitch marks in there, you don't see any discoloration. The mahogany curfing is really, really nice and shimmering in there. And you look inside this instrument and it just looks beautiful. Gorgeous. So we do all of that. The biggest thing is when I picked that prototype, that sample up two years ago was the finish. So we, we have expanded our sanding processes for Laureate and that affected Masterworks. So actually Masterworks gets the Laureate finish as well. So we, we take this, the, the, the sanding further, we, we use um, finer grits, another two to three stages depending, then we get the tops really, really great condition before they're painted. We can get less paint on the instrument. Mm -hmm. So it's shiny, it's protective, the clear coat's like completely clear, there's no intercoat scratching, and it's thinner. So yeah. this thinner, more beautiful finish is really where all this started and it's changed our processes in the factory. Yeah, it's really stunning. But there's two, so there's, there's only two finishes, right? There's a kind of natural and then there's this lovely new so daybreak. We call, so we call this daybreak. Yeah. And it's a burst, but it's really subtle. I think it's great. I mean, it's got a really vintage kind of, but it, it's very modern looking at the same time, you know? Yeah. I, yeah. So, so this line is, there'll only ever be traditional shapes in this line. It is a traditional, guitar line. It has some modern elements. These are the shapes. Oh, sorry. There's a parlor, parlor an OM, and a, dread. and a dread. We may be working on others for the future. Yeah, I heard this. But that this. means, you know, we're building um, new molds and all that sort of stuff. But mm -hmm. for now, this daybreak, that's really quite hard to paint mm. because you, you just squeeze that gun a little too hard. Yeah. And all of a sudden you get a blob and you're just it's like, so oh, God, you know, so the, the painting our guy who paints is, is amazing. And but it gives that vintage vibe, has a little tint towards the outside, uh, uh, you know, a little sort of burst. But we call it daybreak, because it's that sort of morning kind of thing going yeah. on, hopefully. And it's lovely, I've really fallen in love with it. I, you know, I've always kind of loved natural guitars, but I really like this finish. And then the bridge, you ah, know. the bridge. How many variations of the bridge did we go through? This, we finished, I think it's the 26th version. So I had a general idea of what I wanted the bridge to look like. And our colleague, Roger, who's a great engineer, he's, he's, he's our engineer and helps in the factory. And he's a great, great sort of CAD drawer. And um, a mill here, a millimeter there. You know, change this radius here. I just couldn't get it right, and I, but I was so close. So this is the 26th version, and we, and we 3D printed every single version of it. So I've got 26 bridges scattered around the house. And it's nice because it looks like Everything and nothing at the same time, you know, it's traditional but modern and I really love it now that it's finally on the instruments. Yeah. So, and that was a big decision for us, but I thought we're going to go for a more traditional line. Some people may say, why move away from the buy level? I just thought, well, you know, we've just done a brand new Masterworks, a brand new Artist Elite, a brand new Artist Series. Mm -hmm. like we've done everything together over the past year. There's been a lot going on. A lot going on. It's mm -hmm. been absolutely nuts. I just thought, let's give this a try, you know, and see what people think. And I think it's pretty. It's stunning. It's and fitting. It's you know? fitting. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a mad departure. So, finish, uh, the beautiful insides. Yeah. 
Bridge, mm -hmm. Ebony Bridge. Ebony Bridge and Fingerboard. Ebony Fingerboard. Mm -hmm. Incredible abalone. What's going on with the abalone? So we chose blue abalone because it's just, look at that. I know. I don't know if someone can catch that. I, I, when I came in, I saw that. It's just like... It's almost like it's illuminated or something, it's right? Like, it's yeah. like, yeah, it's like, it's like there's a little light behind it. But when the, when the light isn't shining on this is catching it, it's quite, it's quite subtle. So blue abalone is, is more rare. I think it looks really classy. Often there's a lot of green in there. But you can see that in this thing when you, you know, every piece is different, obviously. And it's just really something really luxurious about it. But it doesn't shout. It's not like Mother Pearl or some abalones which are quite bright and colourful, so it's quiet. Mm -hmm. And these are quite understated instruments, so we wanted to keep it a little high end, but, but not, not too shouty. No, I get it, totally. And the tuners feel good. New tuners, brand new tuners, and, um, and they're, they're easier, they're more accurate, all, all that sort of stuff. And then, of course, they're all fitted with hi-fi. So LR bags, hi-fi and everyone. Which is a major step up, isn't it? Major step up. Just, we just like it. It's a nice system. We, we, we'll do a, a full show on hi-fi. Yeah, we will, yeah. Uh, and that's it. And we've got some other more traditional kind of designs going on at the moment. There'll be more woods over the years. And um, we just wanted to come out with something traditional that, that is a little bit different for us. And um, so a laureate, for those who don't know, yes. is an honour. I think, it, is it Roman? It's Roman or Greek. Roman or Greek. Somebody will tell me. Yeah, Roman maybe. So when you become a laureate, it's kind of a recognition for being the best or being... Yeah, uh, excelling at your... Excelling in your usual artist, kind yeah. of, a, you know, a poet or an mm -hmm. artist or whatever. You become a, a poet laureate. In days of old, you were, when you became a laureate, you were given a, a, a crown of laurel leaves. And you yeah. see these in, on statues and all that sort of stuff. And these people were high standing in their areas of mm -hmm. expertise. So we have this inlay, although it looks very much like our normal inlay, it's actually different and there's little laurel leaves in there. Ian designed this and it's really cute. And uh, it's just a little nod. So the laureate is a recognition of your, usually your artistic prowess, which I think is a great name. Again, very fitting. Um, you know, I think um, for me, sound wise, separation's great a little bit more sort of, I want to say articulation, but like there's a bit more, and I think it's the ebony, you know, because it's new for us. I think it just brings brings a little more clarity to the instrument. There's but a bit for more me, separation yeah. of the, of its sort of constituent parts, right? Yeah, you can kind like of that. hear yeah. what's going on, I yeah. think, yeah. I think. And also I think when we were playing them yesterday, mm -hmm. that's, the sustain was quite sustain was, pronounced, wasn't yeah, it? It was, yeah, it was great. Was going on for a while, yeah. So, um, so we're really, really pleased with these. Hmm. We hope people are in the world, and they'll soon be in the world. And um, when's the when is the release official release date? Um, so January first, and we've got a nice Nam show in January. Mm -hmm. The booth will be. Full of laureates and many other things, all the new stuff. So we'll be looking forward to that. But yeah, yeah, they're they're they're, they're just about to to fly really. Exciting times. Hope you like them. Thanks everybody. Nice one. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks guys. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. If you want to watch more videos like this one, click the video on the screen now.